Hello viewers, I am Lisa Gringa, and I would like to introduce a very important guest speaker here on CNN. So doctor, what can you tell us about yourself? Hello, my name is Dr. Srozen Bid. I am very honored to take this interview, as I rarely have contact with other humans. Okay, that is strange. I grew up in New York, and I went to Harvard University. I have been a doctor for 30 years, and have specialized in many cases of tinea. Interesting. So what can you tell our viewers about the dangers of any emerging with the swine flu? I would like to tell you about tinea. I will be talking about the dangers of tinea and H1N1 merging together, and how to avoid this problem. First let me say, it is very important to get vaccinated for the swine flu. The image that you see shows an advanced stage of tinea, which in this case is athlete's foot. Tinea can't take other forms as well and my patients regularly have jock itch and ringworm. I see. Curing tinea is very important and should be done at the first signs of infection. If caught at early stages, the infection can be prevented. However, if the skin begins to fall off, then you are very likely to need an expensive operation. I urge the viewers to read my blog for the most modern cures to tinea at www.curetinea.blogspot.com. You have a blogspot blog? Yes, is something wrong with that? No, I, I just thought you would have your own website. I do not want to pay for hosting, and can we please get back to the discussion? Like I was saying, it is very important to cure tinea. If tinea is not dealt with, swine flu is far more likely to infect you through your open wounds and blisters. Nobody will want you near them, and you cannot swim with your friends. There is a high chance you would die from the combined infections. Oh my god, what the fuck? How can we stop it? Prevention is the only way to stop it. If you get swine flu into your open sore, then your skin will fall up and you will die. It will be a very expensive operation to save you because of the infectiousness of both conditions. At this point, may God have mercy on you and your painful death. Um, sir why are you so negative? This is supposed to be a professional interview. Shut up bitch, I will give you swine flu and tinea. And I will not tell you the cure. Ha. 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 Ah, uh, get out of here you crazy bastard. That's it this interview is done, cut the cameras. Okay, but before I go I must say this. I vow never to return to this despicable place called CNN again. I hope nobody watches this stupid show. My faithful viewers, read my blog at www.curetinia.blogspot.com. Do it now. Get out of here, sir. You are never welcome here again. Cut the cameras, I said. Roll the commercials, we will just say he had to use the bathroom.